Hello, this is Lisa Mona. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. I have, um, actually this piece here, I started a little while ago, but I just put it to the side because I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to proceed with it. So, the name of the piece is Topsy Turvy Topography. And uh, you'll understand why I called that in a couple of minutes. Anyway, this is quite such a this is a quite a large piece. It's a complete page full of doodles and lines. And I guess maybe as I was doing it, you know, you just kind of get mesmerized by it and you just before you know it, time has passed by and you have this piece in front of you. The complete page is filled with doodles. So that was on a white sheet of paper. And then I decided to take some pastel colors and to just paint a very, like a, a lighter wash over certain areas. And it wasn't anything that was really completely controlled. It was like the doodles. It was just kind of like, in this area, it was kind of, and you know, all over the page, you know. And I was just kind of going with it. I didn't really have any particular idea. I didn't mark it out. I just kind of let the brush wander. So, um, yeah, so I, I, what was it, four colors? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think like four colors. Yellow, blue, pink, and a light green. So as I had it to the side, and I was just watching it for a few days, and then I was like, there's something very, very familiar about the way this piece is beginning to look. Um, and, and then I looked at it more and it realized that it looked like a map. I've always loved maps. Um, and then I was like, why does, you know, what is, like, this is just a section of a map. And then I went online and I looked at maps. And then they do have these pastel colors. Like, say you're, go, say you're, you're looking at a map of Africa. And you have different countries within the continent of Africa. So they would be different you know, colors to separate them. You wouldn't really have it so much in America unless you were just talking about the different states and then it would be like Ohio, Chicago, um, all these different places. Um, so, yeah, so I was looking at it and I was like, wow, this really does look like uh, maps. You know, different countries on a map. So what was interesting is when I did the different colors, I still kept the doodles underneath, obviously, but I wanted them. I didn't want it to be a color that was completely opaque and then we just cover it completely. So now I have decided to draw lines, straighter lines, on top of the doodles. First, I separated the colors with a marker just to separate them, and that made it look more like a map. And then I decided to do this. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen a topography maps but it looks just like this where it just has the lines and these lines represent the depths you know maybe where there's mountains or where there's um you know deeper valleys or there might even be a lake or something on it but yeah so then this happened but i you know i i really love it it takes me back to when i was in school and we um we went on this trip and it was learning about map making and topography and everything so what they did is that they took us um, at this location near a mountain this sounds like a spooky story but it's not and we had to learn how to read maps what they did is they sep separate us into um, into groups and my school owned this property. So they took us out and they left us there and they said, okay, here's the map, here's a compass, make your way back to school, the school grounds. And I was like, okay, this is interesting. So it really was like, were you paying attention in class or were you just, you know, doodling, Lisa? <laughs> no, I wasn't doodling, I did pay attention, but it was so interesting because 
we had to wrap, we had to to learn where the streams were, where the mountains were, you know, what direction the the school grounds were on, and it was so interesting. I think at first it was a little daunting, but then as time went on, I was like, okay, yeah, we need to head in this direction, and you know, I'm very proud to say that my group was the first one back um but yeah so probably since then again subconsciously sometimes you don't even realize why you're doing something and then you start to work on a piece and then you're like oh maybe that somewhere in my mind um you know (laughs) those thoughts of the maps were somewhere in my mind and just being an artist probably and just seeing color and lines and forms and all that it just kind of um, came out so that's my story behind this and um, yeah so but it all started with doodles like when I started doodling the whole page as you can see right now the doodles are you can kind of see them but they're kind of getting lost within the lines Another thing, too, is I decided just for no particular reason to put a filter over this um, this video. And it's actually, as you can tell, it's a cartoon filter. So for some, that seemed to add to the whole um, interestingness of this because it really brings out both the, the original doodle lines and the straighter lines I'm doing on top of it. Um, without the filter... The original doodle lines are much lighter, but the filter makes them look, makes them look, um, more pronounced. And I like the look. Maybe someday I will actually print, um, put the original video on it, which will then show you, um, the real, the difference of the way it looks. But, yeah, so... This is only a section of the, the actual painting also. It's actually quite large. I don't have the dimensions, but it's larger than 20 by 16. And uh, yeah, so I hope you're having a good day. And I will see you in the next time I do a video. Okay, goodbye.